Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll be working here on a forward edge. Uh, this one will be guys, for the generation it should cover 2006, uh, 7 to 2013. And uh, what we'll be showing you guys, how to drain the coolant. Okay, where the drain plug is located and how to drain your coolant if you need to drain it, flush the system or anything like that. So, stay with us guys, let me introduce you to the channel. We'll have more than 200 videos on this car guys, more than 200. So please subscribe. For all the work we do, our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. All the tools and parts that are used in the video will be listed in the description of the video below. First thing that we'll be using is the socket 732s. I don't know which metric that will be, but this one fits the best on, on the screws that we need to remove. There is one cover that we need to remove underneath with that socket and then we can get to uh, to the drain plug. Okay, so we're under the vehicle now. Okay, one screw is out. Two. Three, four, five. Wear eye protection because dust and mud will fall off the plastic. Okay, this is number six right there. So let's see, we have two clips that we need to remove. You pull the center piece out and then you pull the rest of the clip out. And just one more. Okay, over there. Sometimes they will be really stuck if they have mud in them. So you just want to wiggle them as much as you can. And this clip did break and sometimes they will. Uh, we will have on the channel guys, uh, check out the link to our Amazon store and see where we get our clips from. Okay, so you can get replacement clips for really good price, usually a huge quantity of clips. Okay, now just pull that uh, outer piece and the plastic comes out like that. Okay, so we're underneath on the left side, on the driver's side of the vehicle, that hole right there, that's where the coolant will, come, uh, will start coming out. So we have that bucket ready, so we're going to collect it. Now we need to go ahead and turn uh, the radiator pork, okay, and this one is really hard to see so we'll try our best actually to show you I'm trying to see if I can find an angle where I can show you a little bit better Okay, so I'm under the car now guys Let me show you okay where the drain plug now is okay if you come right here Okay, uh, I'm trying to get the light correct here so I can show you. Okay, you can see this one right here. Okay, this is your drain plug. And this one, you will have to use a socket or an Allen wrench to get it loose. Okay, so you can see we have an offset box wrench, 19 millimeter there, and it works perfectly. So you need to just get it loose, okay? And after that, it starts getting loose by hand pretty easy. So let's do a little bit, you see it's not very tight. And it will start leaking at one point, so you have to be make you have to make sure that you're not right, right underneath it. After that you can even try turning it by hand after it gets loose. Uh, it's not very tight, it's, uh, initially it's very tight and after that it's not. 
So you start dripping, you have the bucket there. Okay, get it, get it loose all the way. And you can see coolant's coming out. Okay, right there, coolant's coming out. What do you have to do next, guys? You have to open the coolant reservoir. Now, I forgot to mention, drain the coolant only when it's cold. Because if it's cold, it can severely burn you, it can be under pressure, and that could hurt you really, really bad. Once you open the reservoir cap, you start coming out even faster. Do not remove the plug all the way, because if you do, it's going to come out of everywhere and you will not be able to collect it. So we'll just let it drain like that for probably about 5 to 10 minutes. You can see the coolant in the reservoir is already dropping here. After that it will come out of the radiator, the engine as well, so it will take a little bit of time. Okay, so you can see guys, practically it's almost done. Probably need another 2-3 minutes, but you can go ahead now, after that part pretty much. Close the drain plug, you can close it by hand and then get it tied with a wrench. Do not over tighten those because it's plastic, the radiator as well, and you don't want to, uh, you don't want to crack that thing, so be, be careful how you do it. Okay, we'll get our tight now. This is how much coolant we got out of ours, probably it's close to about 7, 7 to 8 liters of coolant, almost about 2 gallons. So that's how you guys drain the coolant on the forward edge. Uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to some of you guys. If you need help with anything, let, let us know. Also we'll have a video how to bleed the cooling system. If you flushed your coolant, you need to bleed the cooling system the correct way. Otherwise your car might overheat. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.